Making great code depends on the target of your audience. So if you're making an app, you want it to make it as an app code and not as a library. But if you're making a library, you need to make it as a library. And a lot of people conflate those things and making app code very, very complicated when it's not needing to be. This stems from them trying to make it completely reusable. But a lot of times you don't want to reuse things. You just want to make stuff that actually works. And you don't need to have the flexibility uh, and the adaptation that you can get with a library. Let's take an example of making our own locking module in Python. Now, of course, we could use Python's own locking module, but for the sake of argument, let's try to make our own. By the way, keep this a secret, okay? Because uh, people will probably hate me for it, but I actually never use Python's uh, locking module anymore. I just found it too complex and I used so much time trying to set it up. Uh, you just don't know how things are coming in and out of the system. Uh, of course, sometimes I have to use it because some libraries are using it and I have to hack into that system, but it's just like my brain can't handle this. So I actually just normally have a very small wrapper and I just use that to do some simple printing or writing to a file uh, or sending it to Telegram. But that's another video that I will come with soon. So yeah, don't say this to anyone. It's, uh, it's heresy. All right, so we have here an example using uh, ChatGPT. And I just basically asked ChatGPT, make some code for me for a login module that can do this here and this. And it is using all of the right principles. So you can see a lot of the solid principles are fulfilled here and it's structured exactly how you want with clean code. And um, there's not really anything wrong with this approach, but we will later see a lot better approach for our purpose here. So let's go through the code. First, we have a log level and that can be like a little bit different uh, things, info, blah, blah, blah. This should probably be uh, enum uh, because the, maybe ChatGPT doesn't understand the enums because it's quite new to uh, Python. Um, but then we have like a log formatter. So it's like formatting the logs. Um, then we have a log writer that can write it to a file. And then we have the logger that takes the log writer. So this means that we can, for example, uh, we can make a logger, we can write some things and then it just prints it out and we can then change it later more so we can have a logger that's just locking it directly to a file. And all this is fine and dandy. And a lot of people will say this is correct code and this is how you're supposed to do it. And you know, when you have a big code base where most of this is in, it kind of just drags you down because a lot of the things, the flexibility here, you wouldn't need in most applications. Of course, if you're making a major library and you want it to be completely changeable, you can do that. But most of the time, you don't actually need this. So let's imagine that we have a little bit simpler example here. Like we could just do a module with info, warn and error. And now we just have this. Of course, maybe you want to put in a, a little bit more formatting, but if you are the one controlling the whole code base, you could just do this here. And if you want it to be a file, you could just write to a file instead. You can even make it so they can write to a file or it can write to the console using this method here where we have like a method called uh, to file. It just opens the log file and then depends it there. Now, you might want to do other things because you might want to keep it open because uh, it's not so efficient to open and close it. But this way, if you have the to file and to console, and then you just have like out that is first defined as a to console. But then if you're using this module, you can just say my lock out is equal to my lock to file. This means that you have basically the same functionality as the other one. So let's say that you're testing something uh, locally. You can test that using the print method. And if you're having it on production, you can have it writing a file. And you see here, like it's literally 10 lines, 15 lines of code. And it does basically the same thing. And if you have full control over the full code base, this is a lot better way to do it. So here we need a library, but we don't need a library that's public, they can be used by everyone else. So this is a very important distinction. Um, the more public a thing has to be, the more abstract you have to make it and the more code and complexity you introduce to it. But then you also get the flexibility and all these here. But a lot of times 
I just don't really use libraries. I just make my own thing. But of course, I'm not going to make Kubernetes by myself. I'm going to just make whatever script I need and maybe it's 10, 20 lines. But then I avoid having a very huge ecosystem of dependencies that might crash. This is a very extreme example, but you can imagine even more extreme examples. Let's say senior plus developers, uh, they will make things using classes that don't need to have classes. So they might make um, data access layers. They might make a lot of other things here um, that you don't actually need for the most cases. And there's a huge argument for data access layers and all these abstractions. But most of the time, it doesn't provide you any value. Um, it doesn't provide the client any value that you're building the software for. So instead, just keeping it simple and avoiding and just thinking about how simple can I actually make things? Because the simpler you can make it, the faster you get it out and the more robust the juicy is. This video is part of Make Code Great Again and there's a lot of other videos that you probably find interesting. So don't forget to subscribe and check out the playlist and I'll see you in the next one. That is, of course, if you're subscribed, so don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.